Hi everyone, Sally Webb here from Tablelands Physio. Just thought I'd go through a few things with everyone about their home desk setups. Um, the last week or so we've had lots of people in with neck and back problems and phone calls and telehealth consultations. Um, and it's all around how people are sitting at their desks with poor setups, um, also sitting a lot more using laptops, iPhones or phones and um, you know, tablets. And um, it's just precipitating a lot of neck and back um, pain. Uh, so I just, most of us are sitting at the kitchen bench or the dining room table and we're just sort of slouching around and we're at the desk and it's at the right, we're using laptops so it's all a lot lower so we're tending to look down um, and that puts a lot of pressure on your neck and your thoracic and your lower back. So I just thought I'd show you a couple of little tips that you can do at home to try and fix your setup and make it a bit more user friendly. So I'll just, a few things I've pre-prepared. boxes. thought we might use a Pilates head thing or back thing. So I'm not using them for anything else at the moment. Um, and you just need an external keyboard and an external mouse. You can use a Bluetooth one or one that has a, a cord attached. Doesn't really matter, whatever you've got. Then you just need to have it's set up so that the top of the computer, or just is about your eye height, um, or a little bit, tiny bit lower, and then your hands nice and flat on the keyboard so you can rest your wrists on the, um, the, the desk. A lot of people sort of end up like this, but it's usually better if you can have a little bit of um, support for your wrists. Um, the mouse nice and close, so not too much out here or up here, just nice and even. So you're sort of all centered, and you're in a 90-90 position. So you've pretty much got 90 degrees at your knees and at your hips and your elbows about at 90 degrees. Um, the other thing is you need to try and sit right back in your chair. So you use the chair that you've got and support yourself and have your feet flat on the ground um, and try and sit up relatively tall most of the time. The biggest thing really will be actually just getting up and moving regularly throughout the day. So every half hour or so, get up, get moving, do some neck exercises or back exercises. Um, we've also got a little cheat sheet that we can send out to you. So if you'd like to email me at sally at tablelandsphysio.com.au, we can send you out a little cheat sheet of how to set up your desk. Um, and that might also help you with a few tips. Anyway, I hope everyone is, is surviving their self-isolation and working from home with the children. Talk to you soon.